Okay, so I broke the news uh, three days ago about the uh, firmware update on the Fuji X-T2. The uh, Fuji rep was updating the firmware there in front of me and I had two Fuji X-T2s to play with and she never got around to updating the firmware on the second one. The old one was running version 1.00. The new one which she updated right in front of me was version 1.35 and um, I broke that news and uh, someone uh, caught wind of that and posted a link with the video attachment over on Fuji Rumors about uh, that firmware. I mentioned that the performance between the two were radically different but I didn't get a chance even after nearly six hours messing with the Fuji X-T2, two of them. Um, to test the video, but this person did, and he reports that um, that the video, the 4K video output of the Fuji X-T2 with this new firmware that I broke the news about is uh, radically different, and there's a link below to his uh, video on YouTube um, of the new 4K video running version 1.35, and uh, he claims compared to the original version um, that there have been huge improvements that uh, high contrast and blown highlights and some heavy contrasts have been eliminated and that the new 4k video compared to the original firmware uh, of the 4k video out of the uh, X-T2 pre-production model which was version 1.00 has been vastly improved so take a look at the link below that he posted of the, the newest firmware rocking on the Fuji X-T2 and uh, I'm glad at once, I'm glad uh, for once that uh, I was the one to actually discover and uh, break a, uh, you know, break a scoop out on uh, Fuji. <laughs> it was just by happenstance that the Fuji rep, you know, ripped out her SD card there. It's like, I just downloaded this uh, new firmware for the X-T2. Hold on a second, I gotta update it. And it's like, I waited and it's like, well, there it is, you know. That was two days ago, so. I was uh, the only person there checking that out. No one else like made the connection. It's like, wow, that might be important. This one, Fuji Camera, is running the original firmware, and this one is the one that just got updated. So, Obviously, the performance differences are not merely in photography, but rather in the video. So check this person's video out below in the link. Okay? Bye.